हेलो एंड वेलकम इन द अभिमन्यू आई एस अगेन टू ऑल द यू पी एस सी एस्पायरेंट्स माई नेम इज़ प्रवेश वत्स और मैं आप सभी का वेलकम करता हूँ मेरी इशू एंड एनालिसिस की सीरीज़ में जहाँ पर आज मैं लेकर आया हूँ एक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द यू पी एस सी एग्जाम विच इज़ प्रिजेंट रिफॉर्म्स एंड देयर मॉडर्नाइजेशन इट इज़ हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द यू पी एस सी एग्जाम सो लेट्स सी वॉट इट इज एंड बिफोर आई बिगेन आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट दो स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट्स टू जॉइन द अभिमन्यू आई एस फॉर एनी मल्टीपल कोर्स सो दे मे सी दिस चार्ट एंड दे कैन जॉइन इट Why are the reforms required? First of all, this is a very important question. हम reforms क्यों ही करें तो first, prisoners are subjected to the health disorders alienation from family and society. The prisoners are feeling some sort of deprivation in the form of health disorders. We have seen number of cases in which they are getting a number of traumas, mental disorders. So this is a matter of concern. Then, poor management of the jail, like proper infrastructure, we don't have. health conditions we don't have sanitation facilities we don't have because the problem lies in the overburden of the jails and this is the third point is saying no separate prison for trial convicts and serious criminal offenders what is happening in into our prisons whether it is a tihar jail which is the biggest jail of the asia we are having number of cells but all the cells are overburdened over limited the reason is we have number of we have number of criminals and the major problem is the trial convicts and the serious criminals jinhone trial unke upar chal raha hai aur dusre jinke upar criminal cases sabit ho chuke hain hum dono ko hame ek hi cell mein rakhna pad raha hai jiske wajah se rather than reformation what we are doing is we are making same kind of mentality which is criminal mentality in both the kind of person and they become subject to only one kind of treatment no effective surveillance there is no surveillance inside our prisons which should be there and which is prevalent in most of the western countries we don't have that the reason is and the incidences of suicide murder organized crimes from the jails we have witnessed just now we have witnessed that in punjab there was an incident of the murder of a singer because of a, uh, because of the organized crime which, which was happening not only from the trans boundary criminals but also from the tihar jail only so what we can see is there is a lack of surveillance and proper stringent implementation of the prison codes then lack of trained and skilled staff who are expert in jail management now we only are having normal normal constabulary normal police personnel who are not able to identify the major problems which happens inside the jail campuses they are not able to do the surveillance properly they are not trained they are not expert in the management of the jails and the reason is we are seeing the degeneration of the prisons there is no upgradation in terms of management of data and records everywhere we are seeing the digitization but the prisons are lacking in this race they are not able to cope up with the digitization process only because of no political will from the state government and why i am saying only the state government i'll be telling you because see prison is a state subject under the seventh schedule the central government timely time and again says to the state governments to take some sort of initiative some sort of actions on better functioning and better management of the prison reforms but the state government's reluctancy and the state government's lack of political will creates this a major hurdle into the prison reforms so prison is a state subject under the seventh schedule of the constitution their management and administration exclusively lies in the domains of the state government so they have to take every action the central government can only recommend the central government can only prescribe the way but to run on that particular way the state government has to take that actions then governed by the prison act 1894 so this is a statutory or the parliamentary act we have on the prisons which is prison act 1894 under which the state governments have been provided the autonomy to adopt number of things as per their suitability as per their adaptability and prison manual which caters to not only the prisoners but also to the prison and as well as to the prison management authorities which are the police authorities and other authorities of their respective state governments so every authority every prison every prisoner is the in, is the integral part of this prison manual सारी चीज़ें इसके बारे में और सभी स्टेक होल्डर्स के बारे में इन द प्रेजेंट मैनुअल वी हैव देन सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट मेजरली द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स गिव गाइडलाइंस टाइम एंड अगेन टू द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स टू टेक सम इनिशिएटिव्स एंड व्हाट एक्चुअली हैपेंस इन इंडिया दैट व्हेन द प्रॉब्लम हैपन्स और द प्रॉब्लम टेक्स प्लेस विच वी इंग्लिश रिटोरिक से इज दैट वैन द मिल्क हैज बिन स्पिल्ट देन द एक्शन कम्स एंड देन द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स ओपन देयर आइज 
so that is a major problem in the in, in the context of prison reforms in india because the state governments are reluctant to take some sort of actions then what are the recent guidelines issued by the ministry of home affairs that ministry will provide grant in aid to the state har state ko 5 saal ke liye grant in aids jo central government hai especially the ministry of home affairs will give for modernizing of the prisons whether it is the infrastructure or the documentation or the training and the skill everything will be the part of this modernization program and the amount will be given on the basis of these criteria first the under trials hamare paas kitne under trials hain number of jail staff how much we have right so these are the major criteria on which the central government or the mha will provide the grant needs then it cover all prisons including the central district women open jail etc these are the various categories of the jails the time we get into the administration we get to know and uh, especially into the ips service we get to know all these kind of major details and their functions then emphasize on video conference video conferencing infrastructure and metal detectors basically to identify some nuisance things and some naive things and video conferencing basically to have a systematization and a modernized program of taking the uh, statements from the prisoners in the front of police authorities and that will be considered as a proof in in the eyes of judiciary also then the objective of this, this program is to fill the gaps in security infrastructure of jails timely we see in the social media in the news in the newspapers that in tihar jail you know under under the tiffin some drugs are getting supplied under the box or by a policeman themselves some sort of uh, help is being provided to the prisoners so for controlling those kind of things now the gaps is to be filled by security infrastructure of jails equipped with modern technologies scientific technologies radio frequency identification technology all these technologies will be equipped metal detectors bhi diye jayenge taaki jo police authorities hain wo kahin bhi kuch bhi halka sa bhi agar unhe gap pata lagta hai so they take immediate actions to curb that particular menace focus on admin efficiency administration will be strengthened we will recruit more personnel in the police constabulary for the jail authorities and attitudinal change in the officials dealing with inmates by providing them skill and training we have to provide skill and training not only not only for one particular purpose which is law and order maintenance actually what happens is whether it is the Um, higher services in the police uh, whether it is the academy of higher officers into the police or it is a lower academy in the police what is the major um, uh, training module is to handle the law and order and maintenance of law in the society but these kind of technicalities these kind of scientific innovations are not that much uh, you know imbibed into the officers or into the personnel which is a major lacuna that we are unable to curb this uh, prison mismanagement but now the mha is saying that we will do the attitudinal change also into the officials as well as into the personal in in their training modules they will be given information how to handle the how to handle the convicts how to handle the trials what kind of questions to be asked how what kind of treatment is to be given so basically a behavioral change i would say a behavioral change has to be has to be incorporated and which will be coming with the initiative which the government of uh, india has taken then other important steps model prison manual 2016 this is also brought by the central government it aims to bring uniformity in law which simply means that whatever law we have that should be uniformly applied across the india in every prison then regulate the governing of prisons and their management across india ek tarike se har tarike ke prison ki ek management ho uska ek administration ho koi एक सिंक्रोनाइजेशन के साथ सारे प्रिजन का मैनेजमेंट चले दूसरा प्रिजन मॉडर्नाइजेशन स्कीम इन द ईयर 2002 थाउजेंड टू टू इंप्रूव द कंडीशन ऑफ प्रिजन प्रिजनर्स एंड प्रिजन पर्सनल सो इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल द थ्री स्टेक होल्डर्स विच आर द इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द प्रिजन प्रिजन हो प्रिजनर्स हैं या फिर प्रिजन पर्सनल यानी पुलिस वाले एंड ई प्रिजन प्रोजेक्ट विच इज विच सिंपली मीन्स डिजिटाइजेशन विच इन द फर्स्ट लाइड आई मैंशन दैट देर इज नो डिजिटाइजेशन एट दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर काइंड and that is you know a kind of hurdle so for digitization of prison management and records the is this e project was also started which is called e prison project after this what are the major committees on the prison reforms right so the time we will write we will be writing the mains answer so we should be knowing 
some sort of committee's report, some sort of committee's names because that will not only make our question substantial but also more impressive and more enriched than the others. So first, Krishna Iyer committee in the year 1987 for women prisoners, right? It suggested induction of more women personnel to provide a kind of healthy environment for the women prisoners and special staff to deal women and child offenders because before five to six years what used to happen is every single uh, every uh, you know woman prisoner or every child prisoner was subjected to the same kind of questions by the same kind of police personnel who were mainly or majorly belonging to the male and that was a major problem in that then comes mullah committee it gave more than 600 recommendations on the prison management and some of the recommendations have been accepted by the government of India as well as by the state governments. And the last is Justice Roy Committee of the Supreme Court to deal overcrowding, right? lack of legal advice and parole etc. Because in these three things we are seeing the problems. First is overcrowding. As I just mentioned that there is a lack of infrastructure into the jails because of which prisoners ko chote chote cells ke andar unse unki mental health bhi condition bhi kharab hoti hai sanitation ki bhi dikkat aati hai and that kind and that makes you know convicts trial convicts and the serious criminal offenders a same kind of prisoners in this lack of legal advice most of the prisoners are not been provided the you know suitable legal hires legal practitioners and they do not even see the face of the court then parole etc in parole there is a red tapeism nepotism paisa chalta hai corruption chalta hai so that also needs to be catered to now UNODC which is uh, uh, international organization of the United Nation which is UN, uh, United Nation office on drugs and crimes. So this is very important and uh, there was a question in the prelims exam of the UPSC also on this particular agency. It is saying it is important for maintaining human rights that we talk of reforms in three things. First pre-trial detention right. I mean these three things are the part of criminal justice system and the meaning of criminal justice system is. FIR के register होने से लेके your acquittal तक जो भी procedure होता है उसको हम बोलते हैं criminal justice system. So it is saying that pre-trial detention, pre-trial which means before you have entered into the court and you your case is in the FIR and you are into the police station. So there should be reforms. Prison management in prison every kind of reforms as we discussed. And third social reintegration which simply means that if the person has been acquitted by the court after uh, spending his uh, his uh, you know crime punishment uh, time period into the jails how we will ensure that that particular person now will be reintegrated or readapted into the society or into the mainstream society because what actually happens is our society is uh, very much uh, concerned for those who are considered as uh, you know fair but those who comes from the jail they are considered with a lot of suspicion and that puts a dent on their personality because they never get the same opportunity to get reintegrated into the society. So now what is the conclusion of this? Need to not only reform prisons but the whole criminal justice system as I mentioned FIR to acquittal procedure ranging from police to judiciary to prison and to provide justice on time and punishment also on time. So we have to ensure that justice be time per mile punishment be time per mile because both will lead to a trust should make prison as a place of reformation not as a house of criminal activities which is because we can consider it, it, it as an irony of our system it is the reality and we have to change this we have to change it by providing our suggestions to the government by taking and by taking into incorporation the major innovative ideas and this much we have to do to not only reform our prisons but to create a healthy society which is an Indian healthy society. Thank you so much for this topic. I hope that if any question comes regarding the prison reforms, so this much information would be suffice to write a well, good and impressive answer and to get deserving marks. Thank you so much. We will meet on the next day on the next topic. Thank you so much.